Well, there we go. And a nice little fish just on the edge. And I guess uh, that is what it can be like at times. I'll just get down there. You can get a little bit despondent. I'll just get that line up. There's a fair bit to get caught up on that. I can get a bit despondent when uh, the water's a bit grubby, a few too many clouds around. And there hasn't been any fish, but you, sometimes you just got to persist. And uh, it's a lovely little fish. And a lovely little little fish, just the same out of this lovely little oh, stream. And don't stumble, Gavin. And just get him in the net, because it's a bit easier to uh, keep him in the water there. But I mean, that's what it can be like. We've got a little worm pattern. And it's something that I guess we potentially haven't used since we uh, stopped bait fishing. You know, we've gone into the fly. but. It's an exceptional way to pick up a few fish, particularly when the water has been discoloured, like now. So they're going to see it, which is half the battle in dirty water. And uh, yeah, they remember what it's like to eat worms. So it certainly worked there. Lovely little fish there. And it's about persisting. You want to, you want to cast in areas that, if you are a fish, where you'd be sitting right on that little bend where food would get brought to you. And, uh, and he certainly loved it. Lovely little brown. And... Uh, just sitting on the on the bend of that uh, the river there just where it kicked around we'll just get that fly out and it's a lovely little worm that he'll see a lovely little leather worm with a, a bright bead just to make sure they see it but a beautiful little brown just the same on light gear is ideal so i've got a uh a stalker uh one of our new ones a seven foot six in a uh a two weight in a, a legend it's beautiful and he's good to go so that's fantastic so uh that's what it's about. Sometimes it's about persistence. I mean, uh, we're early in the season, so um, yeah, pretty early in October. So uh, there's a bit of water around. So you've got to change the way you're thinking with your fly fishing. If you come up here, maybe after Melbourne Cup into November and December, there's going to be a lot more surface ac activity. You're going to get a lot more on maybe an elk hair caddis or a, um, a rubber legged uh, stimulator. It's going to work a lot better and the fishing might be easy as well. But uh, the alternative is sitting on the couch at home. So it's always good to get out and about and every now and then you catch a fish as well.